Welcome to Yubico. In this video in the How To series, I will demonstrate configuring the YubiKey with a challenge response credential based on the HMAC SHA-1 cryptographic hash, and when properly configured will cause your YubiKey to generate a response based on a query by a compatible program. This credential can be used in conjunction with programs that support it, such as Yubico's Windows login tool. To program the YubiKey with a challenge response credential, you will need the cross-platform personalization tool. You can download it from yubico.com slash pt. I now run the personalization tool and insert my YubiKey. The programming status shows that slot 2 is empty, so I will use this slot for my challenge response credential. Beware of overwriting a slot that is not empty. Looking at the supported features block, I see a tick against challenge response, so I'm good to go. Select the challenge response menu option. I have two choices with regard to programming a challenge response credential in my YubiKey. The Yubico OTP option creates the response using the Yubico OTP algorithm. And the HMAC SHA-1 option creates a response using the HMAC SHA-1 algorithm. For this demonstration, I want to program my challenge response credential to be based on HMAC SHA-1, so I choose the HMAC SHA-1 option. I select the empty slot on my YubiKey, slot 2. Notice that the Require User Input option is unchecked by default. This is a security feature. Enabling this option will require the user to press the button before the response is sent from the YubiKey. Here I can see that the secret key has not been generated. The service you are configuring your YubiKey for may provide the secret for you, and it can be pasted into the form here. If not, you can generate it by clicking the Generate button, which I will do now. To program your YubiKey, simply click the Write Configuration button. I am then prompted to save the configuration log file. The log file provides a record of the configuration, as this will contain the cryptographic secrets. Be careful about what you do with this file. You may want to disable logging in the Settings tab if you don't want your secrets written to disk. After making my choice, the YubiKey is successfully configured as reflected by the new entry in the results block. Let's show what's happening by going to the Challenge Response Tester feature of the Personalization tool. This can be accessed by clicking on Tools, then Challenge Response. I select the configuration slot and algorithm type used, input a challenge, and click Perform. Here we go. To find out more, head over to yubico.com slash pt.